my name is Josh Humphries. This is my uh, Mark 1 Caddy J Reg. Sam says it's a 92, but I believe it's a 91. <laughs> um, when I first got it, it was a mess. Um, I'll send you some photos, you can show them that. Um, been fully re. Um, what's the word? It's been sanded down, back to bare metal everywhere. It's had new panels, uh, new rear arches, new front wings, new front slam pan, new rear bed. Unfortunately, it's not an original bed, um, which, yeah. It's never going to be perfect, as you see, the body panels are all over the place. Um, but it's quick, that's what I like about it. Mm. Mm. Should we pop the engine back? Mm. So, the, um, this is what we call Birmingham spec. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. ABF, um, Weber 45 carbs. It's about 170, 180 brake. Try to do it as clean as possible, but I will be redoing it. As you can see, the, the wiring's a bit of a mess and things get scratched from when you're messing about at one o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah. Is this like a, did it start as a father-son project? Yeah, so um, I bought it and me and my dad wanted to learn doing stuff. Mm. So me and my dad, well dad learned how to weld. So dad's done the majority of the welding on it. Uh, I did all the prep pretty much because no one wants to do prep on anything. Uh, and dad sprayed it to be fair. I done a couple of panels, but he done the majority of it. Does need a sand down, flat off and a compound, but it's white, it hides a lot of stuff. So it's all right, <laughs> isn't it? But as I said, it's never going to be perfect. If you look down the back end, it's like a wave <laughs> <laughs> compared to these others. But yeah, I enjoy it and that's what I think is good about it, really. What size are the wheels? A lot of people want to know like wheel sizes and stuff. Uh, so these are 16 inch G60s. I say G60s because they're like rip off version G60s, so they're reps. Mm. Uh, but they're eight and a half and eight at the front. Um, I've got a 20 mil spacer at the front because I'm running G60 front brakes, which are 280 discs. Um, I've got no servo, delete the servo off. So I'm just running um, just a master. Everyone asks me if it breaks okay. Uh, yeah, you get brake fade a lot. <laughs> yeah. What are the tyre sizes? Have you already mentioned the tyres? Um, I think the 195s on the back and 185s on the front. Pokey boys. Mm. Let's have a look at the in inside interior. What interior? Interior. <laughs> so as you can see, there's not much in here, there's no roof flying in, no door cards, well, Dan's going to be door cards so they'll be fitted soon. I'm missing majority of the dash, I have got it but I just haven't put it on. No radio, just got a nice little JBL speaker. Um, future plans really still would like to move these clocks up here like Dan has, so it's nice and neater. Mm. Get a nice gear, gator as well and fix that as well. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nice, nice short shifter. Five speed. Where's yeah. this, where's this uh, steering wheel from? Uh, this is from a Tenardi, uh, the classic Nardi wheel, but they did used to come in Mark 1 MX-5s. Right. Um, but you could use to buy them off the shelf as well, and to be fair, mine's in pretty good nick. Mm got a one ding in it somewhere. The only problem is, is when you get sweaty hands. Oh, right. It just slips all over the place, so I'll try and stay uh, away from that. Where are the seats from? These are Vauxhall GT seats. They are Recaros. They are like what used to come in the Mark on Escorts. Mm. Quite comfortable to be fair. I mean, you've sat in them in here, they're all right. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, my mate, who's like six foot two, can drive it. Cause he's, I mean, I'm not small, I'm 5'10". Mm. And like, I look tiny in this. 
Ah, sweet. So she's rough and ready. <laughs> That's why I like it. Tell us about the bed then, because uh, a question that often comes up is the tailgate. Is the tailgate straight? No, the tailgate's not straight, uh, but the whole bed underneath, if you look underneath, the whole of it's been replaced, wax sealed, all new beams. Um, it's just a shame I couldn't get the the pattern, the pattern bed that retrofication. Is it retrofication that now do the bed? I'm not sure. So what is that? Just like a, just, just a sheet sheets, that you had? Two sheets of metal. You see the seam in the mid centre. Yeah. But for me, it's fine because it's just I can use it. I can put anything in the back. Mm. I will one day. I will get another one and have it like Kieran's, mm. like yours, actually straight and decent in the back. Hopefully. Man, them drag strip is super loud. How's the how's the trunk doing? This is your boot space, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my uh, makeshift camping setup. Uh, I've got my tent in there, my sleeping bag, my mattress. I mean, for a, a night camping, I can't complain, really. Yeah, ideal, mate. <laughs> ideal. And it is so smooth. It so is. smooth. Yeah. It is smooth, but it does need... I said it does need flat enough and polishing, but... I'm not really that bothered at the minute. Now, what uh, what's the future plans with this? Like, what would you like if money was no option? Money let's no say. option. Well, actually, no. Let's say, let's say what what is on the cards for this truck? Um, so, a lot of people know that the caddies or the rabbits they handle not the best. Mm. So I've got an anti-roll bar, front lower strut brace now, so that's tightened up the front end. But the back end is very. It's not very solid at all, so I'm gonna get the, I think they're called the Coney, the Coney adjustable rear shocks, which stiffen up the rear. Mm. And then you can get a rear anti-roll bar as well. I think, I think that's the plan really, to stop it flexing so much, because it really does flex. Um, and I, I'd like to take it on track, to be fair. Yeah? Get a couple of track days, you know, why not? Might as well, something different. Mm. Um, but no, it's more engine work that I'd like to do after I finish my other car. But I want to get this more reliable. Yeah. Uh, she needs a heater matrix. Um, all just the little bits and bobs, really. Yeah. Yeah, man. I like it, though. I like it. It's nice. It, it goes fast. It's loud. It's loud as fuck. Elephant ears as well. Oh, yeah, those are a new installment. Yeah, yeah, I got the elephant ears a couple of weeks ago, and they make a world of difference. Like them flag mirrors. Mm. I mean, I had ones that were like magnifying, so it looked like someone was riding your ass. Oh, really? Time. Yeah, and they weren't, but now they're beautiful. They are, you can see everything, nice. the only thing it blocks your view, your blind spot. Yeah, but they're cool. true. I like them. But yeah, that's my baby. She does 31 to the gallon. Really? <laughs> 31 mpg on the way down here, so it's not bad. So that means some were on a little plan on the way down. <laughs> Are you one of these guys who does like a spreadsheet of everything you've no. you've put into it? Do you know like ballpark how much you've uh, put into it, or do you do you not want to say? So the most expensive bit for me, I had it in a storage unit for five years, mm. and in five years I spent nearly 15 grand in in rent. Really? If I didn't spend the 15 grand in rent, it would be ridiculous, I'd have had two by now, do you know what I mean? Yeah, or yeah. Something else. But, um, actual car, or a truck that I've spent, do I tally it up? Yeah, if you want to. Truck was a grand. That's quite good. Engine, gearbox, gear selector, um, 400. Mm -hmm. The carbs, because they're Weber 45, so they were 500. What's that so far? What have I said? Grand, four. So say two grand so far, and then probably say another grand in panels. I'd say for nearly four grand I've built this. That's with all your paint. Yeah. All your panels. And you've done the majority, you and your everything. dad have done the majority, yeah. Everything. Like, absolutely, me and my dad have done everything on this. 
which is good. It's a, it's a nice thing to be able to say is that yeah, I've done everything. Like I know it every is, inch. It isn't <laughs> because when something goes loose, you're like, no, I didn't tighten that up, or sure, I've left that loose, or I mean, you guys know. <laughs> but yeah, it's just that, I mean, it stays in there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But no, that's that's the little things I need to do now. Yeah. And another nut, nut and bolt check definitely because. I left the lower ball joints loose the other month when I was going around the island it was just doing this, it felt really horrible. <laughs> but now it's solid, it's a great car, great truck. Yeah, love it mate. Cheers, thank you very much. Sweet, and that's your truck. <laughs> Uh, if anyone's got um, a driver's door latch for sale, <laughs> because I need one, because I can't lock the driver's door, this code. Then that'd be absolutely fantastic because I can't lock the driver's door from the outside. And you have to slam it. Ah, yes. It's not like Sam's here. Yeah, that's <laughs> magic, isn't it? Never seen that before. Wow. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Yeah. Sweet deals, mate. <laughs> <laughs>